All right, we got number one contender for the IBF and probably number one in every sanctioning body mm -hmm. right now. Jerron Boutanis, how you feeling, bro? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm good, bro. All right. So what, what, tell me your thoughts about uh, tonight's fights uh, overall. Uh, great fight. I think Jamie Ortiz did a, did a good job. Uh, Loma did a good job, too. They both did a big thing. How'd you score it? I, I feel like um, Jamie was taking the early rounds, like anywhere from like one to like four or five. And I feel like Loma just took over after that. So, I mean, I think the right decision happened. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, Jamie Ortiz did thing. He shouldn't hang his head at all. You know, uh, super proud of yourself. Uh, okay. Um, after the fight, Devin got in the ring. Um, how do you see Devin versus Loma going? Um, I don't know. That's a, that's another great fight. You know, another uh, you know Devin athletic, fast. Uh, Loma would have to you know, be smarter than what he was tonight. You know, he had, he had to perform to another level and you know uh, show to the world that he's still here. You know, still one of the one of the best. So, I mean, you know, that fight fifty fifty for me. You know. I don't know who, you know, uh, I mean, I, you know, I'm rocking with you know, the young guy. You know, you got to support the young, the young killers. Next, next generation on them. So we got Shakur entering the uh, division as well. Mm -hmm. um, how do you see Shakur fitting into the division, 135? Uh, I feel like uh, Shakur fits into the weight division very well. Uh, I feel like Shakur adjusts to, you know, any, anybody that he fight, you know, uh, Shakur definitely a great fighter, you know, uh, at the next level. So this week we had some news, you know, and it kind of affects you and the, in a way, uh, we had the Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence negotiations. They claimed that it broke down. Um, Terrence decided to go to fight David Avrigian, uh in next month now. Uh, first of all, David Avrigian, he's a guy that you could probably fought uh, uh, somewhere along the line because he is a contender or whatever like that. Uh, how do you feel about the Terrence Crawford and David Avrigian fight? Uh, I, I feel like that's, that's, really, that's a good fight. It's still a good fight. You know, uh, People uh, sleeping on, not sleeping on, but he's sleeping on his skills. Basically, David, I mean, he he not a bad, not a bad fighter. Uh, he come for you know he he excited. So you know, um, I feel like that mesh well with, with Crawford's style. Mm -hmm. So the Errol Spence, it's a mystery who his next opponent is. Yeah. There's been talks about Stayonis. There's been talks about a guy who I'm interviewing right now, which is you. Yeah. Uh, would you, if you were to get the call, would you be ready to take that fight? I'm always ready, uh, anywhere, anytime. Uh, it ain't hard to find me at all. You know, I've been calling these guys out, and you know, hopefully, you know, they step into the plate and fight me, or you know, or a big kid, you know, whatever they do, it don't matter. All right. So the last question I got for you, Boots, is this: uh, when it comes to these, the boxing fights, right? We have these negotiations that break down. You know, you hear about the sides of the streets. Mm -hmm. Um, a lot of people they they confuse they get it confused and think that you're PBC because you fight on Showtime, um, and then it's the boxing fans they're in kind of a turmoil too. That it's either Team Spence, Team Crawford, Team Ennis, you know, and whoever else is out there, Team Virgil Ortiz, whatever. Um, do you think that's a good thing for the sport of boxing, or is it a bad thing because it divides? It kind of clicks everybody up in a way. Um, it's like it's, I feel like it's kind of bad because you know you're not getting that. Good fights, the fights that everybody want to see. You know, some guys want to see, you know, uh, the PB fighter fights out of fighters, the zone fighters, the border board fighters, or whatever. So, you know, I feel like that's it's, it is kind of bad. But um, but once I get one of those belts, you know, I'm, I'm willing to fight anybody, any, no matter who it is. So. And, and if there isn't a title on the line for the next fight, a guy like Keith Thurman, a guy like Ugas, would those guys be? Most definitely. You know, oh. they, they got, they season and you know they got uh, they got big names and you know, uh, two great fighters but um it's it's rubber in my way getting ran over you know uh, and I feel like I feel like I'm I'm here to you know pursue the world that I'm really the best fighter in the world so if I can't get these guys that's world champions I, I know for sure I can get you know the guys that's under that and that's you know Keith Thurman, you guys uh, whoever else under Cody Crowley Cody yeah Cody Crowley Ortiz Virgil Ortiz uh, I know I'm missing a few people but. Anybody that's in that top five, top ten, you know, they, they can get it. You know, I'm ready. All right, let the people know how where they can follow you and uh, keep in contact with you, keep in touch. Uh, they can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. You know, and it's, you know, uh, stay tuned. And Roar Tango should come soon. We're in Philadelphia. Already. Undisputed. Jerron, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Thank you.